This video is brought to you by SellCashier.com. SellCashier compares iPhone prices online and gives you a quick quote to get the most cash for your used iPhone. It's simple, fast, and secure. Check out the link in the description for more details. What's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge have recently came out. We've been doing a couple of different comparisons, uh, specifically when it comes to the camera performance and the battery life. But here we're gonna actually do a speed test comparison. We're gonna basically uh, run through the different tests that we do for all of our dedicated uh, speed test comparison videos for our smartphone. So we're going to take a look at the overall uh, application load up speed, the uh, boot times of the smartphones, and also take a look at some synthetic benchmarks to see which one comes out on top in terms of general speed and performance, uh, specifically when you're using the phones on an every day to day basis, and also see from a critical angle in terms of what the internal processing capabilities are on both platforms. So if you're interested, let's get ready to it. Now, just before we get into the individual speed test, we're just going to take a quick look at the internal specifications to see what both smartphones are packing. Now, on the Samsung S7 Edge that we have over here, it's using the Exynos 8890 chip, which is an octa-core CPU comprised of two quad-core chips. And the iPhone 6S Plus over here is using the Apple A9 chip, which is a dual-core processor, clocked at out 1.84 gigahertz. And in terms of graphics, he's using the PowerVR GT7600. And on the Samsung side, we have the Melee T880. Uh, we definitely have a big edge up when it comes to memory. We have four gigabytes of RAM on the S7 and we have uh, two gigabytes on the iPhone. Now with the specs out of the way, let's actually take a look at the performance test and see which one comes out on top. But really on that guys, that's really it. In most scenarios, both phones are gonna be pretty similar to use. They're both very snappy and efficient. There's no real hiccups that you're gonna experience. And that's to be expected because these are flagship modern day contemporary smartphones using the latest hardware. And obviously down the road automatically, for some reason, smartphones tend to slow down and the next generations are always faster. But for the time being, I think the Apple A9 chip is really optimized for the software. So you do find some applications do kind of load up quicker and uh, certainly applications that are utilizing multi-threaded performance might favor the platform that we have on the Exynos chip on the Samsung S7 that we have over here. But in both scenarios, again, you're gonna be fairly happy with the speed performance. So if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comment section down below and check out our other dedicated comparison videos, specifically when it comes to the camera test and the battery performance of both these two smartphones to see which one is right for you. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care. Now for all you guys looking to upgrade to the new Samsung phones or perhaps any other phone and want to get rid of your older iPhone, there's actually a pretty simple way to do it online using sellcashier.com. Here, sellcashier will actually buy your used iPhone from all major US carriers. They only operate currently in the United States. You just basically indicate what model you have, what carrier it's from and the overall condition. And they give you a very competitive price compared to other services out there. And best of all, shipping is absolutely free so the whole process is as painless and simple as possible so definitely check these guys out if you want to avoid the hassle and fuss of getting rid of your older iphone through the traditional means thanks again for watching we'll see you later take care